All right, good afternoon, everybody. Uh, my name is Estella Xu, and welcome to my recital. And today, I'm so excited for you all to be here, and it means the world to me. And we have three pieces prepared for you that I think you will enjoy so much. Before I get started, I do want to say a thank you to all the people who have supported me, and that includes my parents, who have been with me every step of the way there, my teachers, Francine Peterson and Dr. Yelena Balabanova, who have taught me so much over the course of our studies together, my friends, um, Omid Moini, uh, Dorothy Zhang, and Anthony Xie, who have been so supportive and given me so many words of kind-heartedness and help, and as well as Anastasia Solomitina, my pianist for today. She's absolutely amazing, and I really enjoy working with her, as well as Opus 4, so uh, Dr. Mike Metesky and Colin Chandler, who is his lovely intern for today. All right. So the first piece that we will be playing is uh, three etudes for bassoon and piano by Jose Siqueira. Siqueira was a Brazilian composer who was born in 1907, and when he was 18 years old, he actually joined the Brazilian military um, and played in the band, and he played principal trumpet. A few years later, he then studied at the um, Institute for Music in Brazil, and a few years after that, he became the composition professor there. However, in 1969, um, Brazil had a change of leadership, and because of his uh, different political views, Siqueira had to go to the Soviet Union, but he continued his com composition and conducting there. So this piece was composed in 1969, and it has three etudes. The first one is one that's a little bit more free-flowing, but has a little bit more free time signature than the other ones. Um, the second one, which is my personal favorite, is actually titled Tempo de Modina, and the Modina is a Brazilian tune that uh, was normally based on a more simple melody, but then when it was played for ro royalty, it was embellished. And in this movement, you can actually hear that um, as the melody comes a little simpler through the beginning, but then it becomes more complex as the piano is added and the piano and the bassoon kind of um, hand the melody back and forth. So and then it returns to the simple melody again at the end. Kind heartedness and help. And as well as Anastasia Solomitina, my pianist for today, who's absolutely amazing and I really enjoy working with her as well as Opus 4, so uh, Dr. Mike Metesky and Colin Chandler, who is his lovely intern for today. All right, so the first piece.
All right, next up, we're going to make a little transition, and I will be playing for you Fanny Mendelssohn's Sonata in G minor. And so Fanny Mendelssohn, you might know her just as Felix Mendelssohn's sister, but she was quite more than that. Um, a lot of historians will say that she was a woman, a prodigy born in the wrong time, because during that time, women were not encouraged to go out and play music and do their own creative work. And so one thing that was very strong, though, was Fanny's bond with Felix. And one of the stories from their childhood was that when Felix went out to play because Fanny had to stay at home because she was a girl, uh, Felix would come back and he would tell her the stories of his adventures and playtimes through an improvisation. And so today I'll be sharing a story of Fanny Mendelssohn's. And um, this piece is absolutely beautiful. It is one of my favorite pieces by her. And it is uh, has two main themes. So the first theme is quite driven and is quite fast and um, has a lot of tension from a lot of diminished chords. Whereas the second theme is far more laid back and far more relaxed. And one of my favorite parts is when the second theme comes back in the recap recapitulation in a major key. So I really hope you enjoy this piece.
Um, I absolutely love that peaceful ending. And we are going to end with something even more peaceful <laughs> with our Villalobos. And this is Hector Villalobos, is uh, Saranda das Sete Notas. And this is one of my all time favorite bassoon pieces. And uh, Villalobos was born in 1887, and he was a Brazilian composer. And he was most known for his mix of Brazilian folk music and European instrumental styles. And so in this particular piece, he was inspired by modern art. And this was composed in 1933, which was after the First World War. And a lot of artists were getting together and creating new modern art. And one of the modern artists he was most inspired by was Stravinsky. And he wrote this piece after going to a trip to Paris, where he heard Stravinsky's Rite of Spring, which opens with that very high bassoon solo. And he was quite inspired to write for the bassoon after that. And uh, this piece is a saranda, and a saranda is a Brazilian dance. And it is kind of a game, kind of a dance, where people stand in a circle, they dance with partners, they change directions. And this get dance is uh, played often in a lot of Brazilian preschools because it represents the idea of humanity and cooperation and interpersonal relationships. And this piece, the saranda of seven notes, is uh, referring to the seven notes of the C major scale, which are heard at the opening. And then Villalobos deviates a little bit from that. And then but the, at the end, he ends with those seven notes once again. And I hope you enjoy this piece as much as I do. <laughs>
All right, thank you so much everybody again for joining me and a huge thank you to all the people who have supported me, my parents, my teachers, my friends, Anna, and the people here at Opus 4. And I've had a great time here and I wanna say thank you so much again for coming.